Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. When you are building or rebuilding, you have to come up with a timeline. And I'm, I'm talking whether we mean literally building a house or a structure, building a business, building your life, or the process of rebuilding any of the above. You're the one who comes up with the budget, the timeline, um, the blueprint, the personnel involved, so forth and so on. Nobody dictates that but you. See, I got my University of Colorado hat on. Yeah, they lost some games. So what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to use them as a popular culture example because, you know, unfortunately, some folks, um, <clears throat> you know, they, they can't tell you about uh, what's going on over there in Israel and Gaza and how it could affect us here, how it is affecting us here, because there's been some terrorist attacks on U.S. soil. The jokers ain't paying attention, but they know they know about Puff Daddy. P. Diddy's lawsuit, right? <clears throat> when it starts going down in this country, some of y'all going to cry. Some of y'all going to commit suicide because you ain't been paying attention and you ain't ready. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to use that that example of how you need to run your race at your pace. So, some people are saying, ah, oh, look at Coach Prime and them. They losing. You still believe? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I mean, the guy, they only won one game last year. First of all, on a personal level, Shadur Sanders and his NIL money, that dude's got enough money to never have to work for the rest of his life already before even hitting the NFL. He, I'm pretty sure he's going to go, but let's say he get injured and he doesn't go. Hey, great. No problem. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, excuse me. Let me put some respect on that man's name. Let me put some respect on Coach Prime's name. Be respectful to the cage. All right. Um, dude is, they have the social media thing so locked up that dude's getting money to talk to tweet uh <laughs> i mean what do you get i got a 30 million dollar contract that team is going to improve they've already improved uh four times what they did last year um travis hunter's going to get better but here's the thing they, they weren't about to go undefeated they weren't they weren't about to go from a one win team to an undefeated uh, uh, um, FCS Bowl game championship winning team. That's not going to happen. You know, they, they I, I heard if they got to six wins, they could get in a bowl game. But look, let me tell you something. You think those people in Colorado are upset? No, they're thrilled. And they're still backing their coach. And you think Coach Prime is down? No. Some of the players who not who don't understand what's going on, maybe, but I doubt it. I bet you they still believe in their coach, too. That guy understands the process. He knows exactly what he's doing, and you need to be the same about yourself. Now, this has affected me personally. There are some people who watch this channel who know me personally. They know me, they've known me since elementary school, middle school, high school. And they know my academic prowess and ability in some places I've been in life and some of the mistakes I made <clears throat> getting married that um, reduced uh, my my output to, you know, whatever. Uh, whatever setbacks I've had that I don't go into specific details about and one day, you'll find out why they also know what I'm doing on the back end. Uh, and like Coach Prom says, I'm coming. They know I'm coming, but I don't show it all. I don't tell it all. I'm not telling people how. Let me be careful. See, I got a, I got certain people that watch my channel that don't need to know everything for right now. Let me just leave it at that. So people who need to know, know what's up with me. They know what's going on in my life. They know where I'm headed. What I've learned is it's best to not let everybody know what you're doing. They don't need to know. Keep it on a need to know basis. I'm running my race at my pace. I've had a couple of people uh, from a distance, of course try to try to 
two things. One, one guy tries to like measure it. Well, if you knew this guy measure himself against me. <laughs> uh, he, he had a problem in high school where the females talked about um, how he didn't measure up. Uh, and it's, it's uh, that that's on him though. Cause I didn't make him make these comments, but um, on my personal Facebook page, I had to remind him um, like he, he came in poking some jokes and I posted a picture of Minnie me. <laughs> and he stopped on that, on that damn plan. But anyway, uh, seriously though, a while back, we were talking some politics and they were calling me a bot or something because I'm not a Joe Biden fan and I wouldn't dare cast a vote for uh, a racist senile man such as Joe Biden, um, who has a history of, of, of policy making that actually hurts people like me. Go figure. Well, anyway, the guy was like, yeah, we'll see this thing called life. I figured it out. I figured it out. And I could have said, well, sir, let's compare some numbers and let's compare some actual abilities and let's compare actual ownership of some assets. You probably don't asset classes. You don't understand, but I just, you know, I blocked him off of that particular page. He can access my general page where I talk to the normies and the normal people and the people who don't know what's going on in life, you know. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is this. I don't need to prove nothing to this joker here who's doing some basic stuff. I don't need to show what I know or what I'm doing. Because, see, here's the thing. When you start telling people everything, you got a different type of person. Now in 2023, who try to ruin your whatever it is you got going. Uh, you got some jealous, weak men out there. You got some weird behaving females out there. Everybody don't need to know everything that you got going. Now, another type of situation I've seen is where uh, this is more dealing with black folks. But like, OK, let's say you you have some type of business going. Well, how's your little business doing? I heard you made a little money. They try They try to. You have some people who try to minimize what it is you're doing or try to see. That's like a fishing technique. They're throwing a reel out there to see, huh? Let me see what this person's doing. Let me see what I can what information I can reel in so I can go gossip like a like a like a female puppy, female dog. I'm trying to get better at cussing y'all. I'm trying. I can't promise you that that ain't gonna happen, but I do try. I do try. So, you know. My, pat myself on the back now does me knowing that had I not married the wrong women because I've been married twice I don't have no problem admitting a, a mistake because you know better you do better and me doing these state sanctioned marriage contracts instead of knowing what a private marriage contract is and, and putting myself in a situation where I'm getting a good deal out the situation hey I didn't know did what I thought was right, paid the price for it. Okay, cool. Life goes on. And I want you people who struggle with mental health. This is not mental health advice, but I want you to take note of what's happening because that affects me too. Yeah, I've, I've thought about what could be or could have been. No, no, not what could be. You do think about what can be because you do need to have hope. You do need to have aspirations. But I don't think about what could have been because that's that's over with. That's the past. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm going in my toolbox in here, in here, and up there to the God of the Bible. And I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to keep on moving. I'm going to take what I've learned and I'm going to improve. And um, just as a side note, in the past, it's good to work with your mind and learn what you can do with your mind. But when I doubled my work rate and added it to that, that's when everything else started to go in a darn near unstoppable direction. Don't be afraid to put the hours in. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Don't be afraid to miss out on the social events and miss out on all the fun because you got work to do. Don't be afraid to not uh, buy. You don't need fancy clothes. You don't need a Hellcat or a Charger. You don't need no damn jewelry. You don't need to go. On, okay, now I'm finna cuss. You don't need to go on these fucking trips. You need to grind. You need to save. You need to invest. You need to get good skills that are going to pay you. You need to come up with a financial plan. You do need to start some form of a business. Now, I don't have one. My family has one. Um, so so for those those people watching and listening, hey, I ain't I ain't I'm just a teacher. But anyway, uh you need to 
have more than one revenue source. You need to be stacking up on some extra water supplies, uh, um, power tools, um, ways to purify water, um, ways to clean wounds. Hey, man, we're on the verge of World War Three. What you see around you, this current societal configuration may not exist tomorrow in the next hour we're there if you even if you ain't a bible believer you better read the book of revelations and what you don't understand get a commentary my beard look uneven in right here i need to i need to fix that i don't like i was looking on camera i'm sorry i'm sorry you know look i'm this camera's like a mirror where i get to look at my handsome face so pardon me don't be hating don't be hating out there don't be hating anyhow <clears throat> Yeah, I've thought about what could have been, but then I say, uh, 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 Satan, you can't have space in my mind. My Those people who would love to see me do poorly in life, they would love to have me in that mental state. They'll never get that satisfaction. So I got to keep track of time because I got some business to handle. Um, <clears throat> it's your race, it's your pace. So just like Coach Prime is sitting back like, look. Hey, hey, that's what you feel. That's what you think. Laughing all the way to the bank. Just like Mr. Renaissance Man. Uh, been down before, but never out. Got back up, picked myself up, head in the right direction. No people can't see it. And you know what? I don't know if I'm ever going to let people see what's really going on. The people who know, the people who really know, they know already. And I don't know. I guess you'll kind of be able to see some things as I go some different places and life switches up. But today's not that day. I'm going at the pace I need to go at because I know. Let me tell you something. The first time I ran the 400 meters in uh in high school, I got some trophies and stuff up there. I can't quite reach none of them. Uh, what's this? Let's see. Those are my son's medals down there. Uh, I can reach this one up. Here goes one. Here goes two. Ah, I can't reach the rest of them. Uh, I can't reach my son's down here. Let's see. This is from when I coach my son. I, I could grab another handful of these, but you know we we are uh, Mr. Renaissance man know what, it, what 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 to do to make it do on that track. You heard? But um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. I was I was a decent athlete, and I was an all right coach. The only championship athlete I coached was my own son. Go figure, because I could coach him the old school way. I ain't have to worry about nobody mama complaining because, hey, when he's with me and my cousin, I don't give a damn what his mama talking about. We're going to win. Uh, go figure. Anyway, <clears throat> first time I ran the 400 meters, I didn't know how to pace myself, and I threw up. <laughs> if you ever ran, if you run track, if you've ever ran track, you know you ain't a man on that track until you done threw up. But that race is supposed to be ran at 80% of your full speed. Um, if you can pull it off once you get in the right type of shape. You can't do that race all out the whole 400 meters. The, the, the human body, unless you own something, just can't handle it. So you have to learn your pace. You can run it with different strategies. You can front load and go a little bit faster up front. You know, you can try to keep the pace of the person who you know is going to be the pace setter. You can try to attack towards the end, whatever the case may be. But it's your race, so you run it at your pace. And the longer the race is, the more strategy goes into it. But just because your strategy involves you not necessarily looking like what everybody else is doing, you have to trust your coach, you have to trust your strategy, and work your strategy. Your race, your pace. Don't be worried about what everybody else is talking about. And as always, never lose the will to win, never lose the will to survive.